Today is February the 1st. If you're new, my name is Patrice, the Patrice Denise, and I'm just living a healthy, sustainable life, one day at a time, one step at a time. Been documenting my journey along the way. So glad that you decided to join today and welcome back to everybody who has been here before but i just um finished in my um time with god so i um read the last chapter in proverbs which is uh, proverbs 31 and it's about the virtuous woman and um you know we read that many times many times before but what i got out of it this time is that this is a um, model of a great woman. We may not be able to be all that she is, but we can be the best that we can be by using some of the characteristics and some of the traits and some of the qualities that she has. So the, when I was reading the commentary on this, it, it said that um, do not see her as a model to imitate in every detail your days are not long enough to do everything she does. See her instead as an inspiration to be all you can be. We can't be just like her, but we can learn from her industry, integrity, and resourcefulness. So she, um, one, her main trait, her main characteristic is that she had reverence for God. So in all that we do, in all that we strive to be, and in all our successes, our accomplishments, even in our failures, we need to have reverence for God and fear, fear God, put him first. So let me tell you, we're going to get, we, we're not going to get into all of it right now, <laughs> but when I truly let go and let God, that's when things start happening. And I know that's a cliche, but that is so true. That is so true. So I did that. I'm moving on to Ephesians. So I'll start with Ephesians tomorrow. I read um, every morning and um, just write in my prayer journal, which is right here, and um, write my thoughts to God through prayer. And so next I'm going to move on to the chapter of Ephesians. So I'll start with that tomorrow. What I do... Um, want to do is trying to today is February 1st so I need to make sure my um, planner is up to date for February or at least everything that I can foresee right now for February so I'm gonna do that here real quick get my mind together I got about 20 more minutes or well, less than 20 minutes before I need to get my um, Sign up for school, so I'm going to do that here real quick. So January is gone. All right, so some of the things that I wrote inside February's little side thing, I need to move to, I'm sorry, it's not January. I need to move to February. And I like, I like this pin, but I like my erasable pins that I've been using. And I got many colors, so we'll take these out. I also got these nice pins right here, too. I love a nice pin. Love a nice pin. Let's see. I'm just going to take a bunch of different colors out. Because I'm going all over February. That's like... Hmm. All right. This is my journal where I write down my thoughts on my visions and my goals. So I do, something did come to me in the bathroom. <laughs> and, okay.
in a previous video, you know, I said, um, is that light too, light too dark? There we go. Um, I said that I wanted to uh, write my first book by the end of 2025. So a thought came to me with that. So let me try to write that down. So that's what I'm trying to do with this book right here with this journal is just writing down my thoughts um, on things that I am striving for, things that I, my visions, my goals. So I'm going to, every time a thought comes to my mind, I'm going to write it down in here and work on accomplishing those goals. So, um, All right. This is my work schedule for my part-time job. I need to add that to the calendar. I'm just gonna get busy on this, this calendar setting. My um, alarm is about to go off to go get my son up for school. So I'm going to come back and finish this after I work out. I've had to do my treadmill, um, my cardio for the morning. And um, after I take my oldest. So if I have a little bit of time in between um, doing like 35 to 45 minutes on my walking pad, then I'll come and finish up um, some more in here. I'm trying to get at least two weeks written out. So I kind of got the month at a glance, and then I'll have to add as um, I sit down and talk with my husband about anything else that we have going on. Um, and, oh, I didn't put Valentine. Well, I didn't circle Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, but I need to um, finish up writing in, like, the... So this is, like, the overview for the month, and then you have, you know, the weekly where you get into the nitty-gritty of it all and write down the different tasks that you have to do for that week so I need to finish doing that and then I need to um what I do inside this book as well is I help with um, keeping track of our our bills and what I am going to do is come back and make sure I write down it's the same bills every month we pay the same thing over and over but guess what I write it down every month for us so I'm just that type of person. I like to write it down every month and then we check it off as we go. So I'm going to come back and do that. All right. <clears throat> I'm finished with my cardio. I did 45 or 47. Y'all see that? 47 minutes. And I have a little bit of time left to spare before I have to take my daughter to school. But I want to, I was thinking, you know, that time on your treadmill as you're exercising or my exercise time, I do a lot of reflecting. I do another, I do, I read um, the, the Bible verse for the day as well. So I go to the Bible app right there and I read the, on the home section of there, it gives you like today's verse and then it has um, some uh, commentary with that. And um, so I, I listen to that. And read that while I'm on the treadmill as well. Then I listen to um, YouTube videos. So I do use that time to listen to YouTube videos as well. But I was reflecting and I need to go, since today is February the 1st, I need to go back over my goals for the whole year. And um, what I'm going to do each month is also kind of go back and like refresh and try to make sure I'm on track with my goals for the year. So I am going to do that today. Sit down and, and look at that. But, okay, so where was I at with this? So that, all that, that. 
Yeah. That's the rest of this week. And while I'm planning, you know, just my personal, my, um, I really don't put my job stuff in this planner because all my job stuff is in the computer at work and I really don't do anything off time for work. Like I, everything I do for work is during my nine, nine to five. That's one thing I learned. Uh, I, and, and that might be in my book <laughs> when I write my book is I learned that my time for work is my time for work. So I do that from my nine to five time. My time for myself is, is, is separate from that. So I don't mix the two. So this is my personal time things like that I choose to do that I'm not getting like, um, pay from some, from business for, you know, um, I don't know how to say that, but yeah, yeah. From corporate. I don't, I, this is the corporate stuff is going to be with, with the corporate stuff. And then my personal stuff that I, um, am diving deeper into is separate. All right. So I got all that. <laughs> All right. Um, see, I had to write down as soon as I get it because I said, okay, when I get off that treadmill, I'm going to write. Do y'all forget stuff so fast? I do. Okay, I said, when I get off the treadmill, I was going to write down. Oh, I reset it. <laughs> see? <laughs> so today I'm going to focus on, what's today? Today is Thursday. So let me just write that over here so I don't forget. Okay, review goals. See, I I, I, I got to make it plain. I got to write it down. Review goals and progress for the year. All right, so I'll do that later. All right, and then while she's, she's almost ready for school, I'm going to move. I think I'm good with everything for the next two weeks. When do I get my hair done again? That's what I need. Okay. Okay. No, no, that's not, that's not this week or next week. Okay. All right. So I need to move over and do my bills. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to write down our bills. Oh, and I need to focus on my content for YouTube for, which is <laughs> the same thing over and over. Um, I do my weekly updates. So I make sure I write that down weekly update. And I actually already did that video in week 61 by the time you see this one you definitely would have seen that one um all right and so I'm doing that one okay so I do need to look at that today kind of just kind of get an idea of what's coming in the month like when I'm going grocery shopping if I want to include that in the vlog um and so forth all right so I got to do that today too so I'll do that, and I'm going to write out our bills for the month. So these are my two papers that I do that with. I got I got this little kind of setup behind every month. So I'm just going to concentrate on that right now while my daughter is getting ready, and um, make sure that it's all set for February. And then we'll talk about our goals later. We'll talk about how I um, am progressing with my goals for the year later. All right. Today is February 1st, like I said, and I need to go ahead and do my injection. So I am on the 7.5 milligrams of Manjaro. And if you don't know, Manjaro is used to control blood sugars in type 2 diabetes. It also aids in weight loss and weight management and so forth. So I am going to give myself this in my right arm. I've been using my arms for the last three times so I did right then I did left no 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 am I doing it right let me look <laughs> I've been tracking it on my um, calendar so today is the first so the last time I did it was on the 22nd of January and I did right arm so today I'm doing the left arm so I'm glad I looked at that so um, on January the 20 second I did the injection in my right arm and I noted it there and I actually did it in the morning at that time but I'm doing it in the night tonight so I am going to make sure I note that I'm doing it 
in the left arm. So left arm and okay. And then the next injection, I try to do it one time in 14 days. I'm just gonna do it every 10 and just be done with it and stick with it. <laughs> um, I know I go back and forth, but I'm my own experiment. I told you all that before. I'm my own experiment. So um, next one will be on the 11th of February when I do the next injection. All right, so I'm gonna do it the left arm. And right here in the subcutaneous fat area. And I don't feel like eating. I had a long day at work, y'all. We're going to talk about work and all that another time, but I did. <laughs> I went to my part-time job, too, and so I'm not that hungry. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink one of these. I'm going to drink this one. Actually, this is a cinnamon, cinnamon roll flavor. And I had this one earlier because I had coffee earlier. Uh, and I didn't show y'all, but I'm showing you now. So I had coffee, and in my coffee, I use... Um, with the uh, uh, Javi concentrate, so I had like, so I had this with this one, the cookie dough, and I had um, that earlier today. Um, what else I ate today was um, the rest of my Chipotle bowl I had yesterday. I ate half yesterday, half the other half I had for lunch today. I had some juice, so I had one of these. What else did I do? I had the juice, I had the Chipotle, and yeah, and then this with coffee. So I'm gonna do this again. Okay, I'm gonna do like I said, I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna drink this right now and some juice, and then finish my water for the day so I can make sure I get my 80 ounces of water in, and then that will be it for tonight. So let me go ahead and take the top off or the base off, unlock it, and then I just you'll hear two clicks. Here it goes. So it is all in. So that is my injection for this 10 days. So y'all would be really proud of me because I have started making sure that things are in my head. I write them down in my uh, planner um, and make a to-do list. And I've been checking things off of my to-do list. Also just things that pop into my head for things that I want to accomplish. I write them down in my journal here. I went back and looked at my goals for the year that I set at the beginning of January and regarding my health goals, my um, A1C, I wanted it to be under 5.7. I won't be able to measure that until I get my blood work done in May. Weight under 165. I've been doing good with that. As you saw in the video that posted the other day, my weekly update. Waist circumference, I do need to measure that. I want to keep my waist circumference under 33 inches throughout this year. And then strength training, I do need to get back into that. So that is one I need to start because I need to do that more. I want to get into strength training, you know, like doing the dumbbells and squatting. It just, you know, building muscle overall. So I do need to get back into that. I fell off in uh, from that. I started in the beginning of January and that kind of fell off. So I need to get back into that. Regarding my health goals, I believe that I'm staying on track with the healthy habits that I have in place. So we'll continue to look at that. Spiritual goals. Um, I have been journaling and writing in my prayer journal. I've been reading the different chapters in the Bible each morning and I've read Proverbs all the way through, like I said earlier, and I've started Ephesians and I am, um, on chapter one of Ephesians today and doo -doo -doo. and then I'm going to, I'm going to actually ask my girlfriend what book she has, but she has a book that, um, highlights the woman in the Bible, and I might need to look at that to help me, guide me through my woman's studies, um, of the, my study of the woman in the Bible, so I'll look into that, so good. Um, personal goal, um, regarding like um, personal growth, I wanted to read more, so I am reading more. I'm reading right now The Secret to Successful Relationships by Dr. Rutley, as I told you in, in the other video, and let me tell you, I was, I, I read chapter one, two, chapter one is on relationship with God, chapter two, relationship with yourself, chapter three, relationship with your spouse or your significant other. And a one line in that chapter hit me like 
Um, I was hit before at the marriage conference that I went to, but just what can I do? What can I do? Or what do I need to fix? Or what do I need to correct, change, add to that will help the relationship? Before I can look at him, before I can look at others, what can I do? So that reflection is very important. So I've been reading that. And career-wise, we're going to come back to that. We're going to come back to that. I'm not ready to discuss that just yet. But just know, just know I left career blank. If you go back to my video um, before at, uh, when I sat down and talked about my vision and goals for 2024, I didn't know what I wanted to do career-wise. Not necessarily didn't know what I wanted to do, but I just left it blank because I said I just wanted to kind of stay where I was at, just dive deeper into my position. Let me tell you, big God, big God is all I'm going to say with that. We'll get back to that another day, another day, another time, because that's a whole nother video. <laughs> But, and then other goals, financial goals, I wanted to be intentional about my spending and my saving and so forth. And I think I'm doing great with that. I did pay off one debt in January, so that was great. And then YouTube, I am, I wanted to be more, cons well, throughout 2023, I thought, I, I think I was consistent, but I wanted, I want to grow this channel and um, into something that you guys could use more and more in that, um, something that is bigger than me and that will help inspire others and just keep you um, going, entertained, and just um, something that's motivational, something that I can look back at and as well and uh, reference if I need to. So I wanted, wanted to be more consistent or continue to be consistent with YouTube, and I think I'm doing great with that. So those are my goals for 2024, and I think I'm, I think I'm doing good. So I'm going to – I have it written here in my um, – book here and I'm going to keep looking back at it throughout 2024 to make sure that I am on track so we'll keep that right there and then like I said I've been writing down my to do's and I am checking them off one by one and I just feel so accomplished so I'm going to continue to walk around with my not walk around per se but continue to have my planner I always will leave my planner at my desk at home I need to take this planner with me throughout the day, throughout, yeah, I need to put it in my purse, so, later on, Mariah has a basketball game, I'll show you some clips of that, and, um, then, tomorrow, if you saw the video I posted the other day, tomorrow, we are meeting with a, uh, representative from Fit Families, and, uh, we're going to talk with them to see what that program is about, Mariah and myself, and so I'll definitely update you guys on that, oh, from my, um, Manjaro injection last night, I feel fine, no side effects. Um, I, I, I don't even like uh, notice any fatigue. That's one of the things that I've noticed with um, the 7.5 and injecting in my arm. I don't notice any fatigue. I don't notice any queasiness. I had a um, baked potato earlier. That's, that's uh, what I had for lunch. Um, and it was topped with some uh, brisket. My husband made it. So I had that and I'm good to go. Been drinking my water. So yeah, good to go. No side effects that I noticed right as of now. I do want to look out for that. I got some updates to tell y'all specifically about Manjaro. It will take a long time because I don't want to put it in this video, but it will come out uh, soon. And I'm going to sit down and tell y'all insurance, insurance related. So I'm going to tell y'all all about it, but look for a video to come out about that soon. All right, later on, we'll go to Mariah's basketball game. Hello. Good job! Say hi. Say hi. How are you? Yeah. Get, in the, get, get that ball. Get that ball. Take your time.
showing him that the wide angle and he's saying it didn't do anything. See, okay, so this is this, and then here's the wide angle. Then I, I put that wide angle thing right there. Look, 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 he got his bag. His bag is already back. He's talking about the bag. He didn't wrap the moment. He didn't wrap the moment. Okay, so like this, so here's the, here's the lens. Put it on, put it wider. Yeah! Take it off. How you doing? I love my little camera. them inside at the game they're gonna watch the rest of the games you know we usually watch like all the the JB boys and the varsity girls and varsity boys games but I'm tired I gotta go to work in the morning gotta be up by five o'clock to be there by six so I'm going home and probably catch some YouTube <laughs> and um, then go to bed but I will take you guys well I'll update you guys on how do I do that? I'll update you guys on um, the meeting that we have tomorrow from Mariah. They just sent me a, a reminder email. So I'll let y'all know how that goes with the Fit Family Project. See how that goes. But yeah. I'm tired. It won, I think it was 44 to 22. I forgot to um, take a picture of the store. But they won 44 to 22. So yeah. They did good. They did good. to start the meeting for Mariah here um oh meeting is about to start I'll let y'all know how it is and what it's about so we are finished with the um meeting for the fit families project and um so what happened was my daughter Mariah the pediatrician I guess, you know, they're looking at their data at their office and so forth. And they reached out to me on a couple of days ago. I forgot what day it was. But they reached out to me a couple of days ago and asked can um, or would we be interested in uh, learning more about this research project. And so I figured yes, because it's just one way to continue to bring health and wellness into my family and them not necessarily just hearing it from me. They're hearing it from other sources. So, um, we agreed to listen to the information. And so that was what the meeting was about. So basically the program is a, it's 18 months altogether. It is, it's a research project essentially. And it's 18 months altogether and it, um, they're collecting data 
to see if intrinsic motivations or well extrinsic motivations or intrinsic motivations which one will um you know has a better effect on a person's um health you know health goals so i am not i didn't you know i told mariah about it and uh, she listened to what the young lady had to say and the young lady asked her as well as myself if we're, you know, interested. And I allowed Mariah to answer the questions on her own. And, um, but I figured this is just one way, and she agreed, Mariah wants to do it. And this is just one way to continue to promote health within our, our family. So I'm not going to share her specific stats and things like that because that's personal to her, to Mariah. But I will share mine, you know, because I've been doing it already. And um, but I'll just share how, how this is affecting our family as a whole and how it um, uh, how we're doing with it overall. So I will share that with you guys. But I just figure this is one way to continue to promote health within us. So just look forward for information about that. We do have the initial assessment piece where they get the you know baseline data from both of us. And uh, we'll do that here in a week and a half, I believe. I got to look at my schedule a little bit more. We did schedule the um, assessment, but Mariah is still in basketball. And, um, ooh, no, no, I'll be off that day. <laughs> then I, I work my part-time job in the evening sometimes. But so we did schedule it and I'll, you know, continue to update you guys on how it's going and whatnot and what it entails. But basically it's a research project to see if extrinsic values or e extrinsic rewards um, motivates the participants into uh, completing their health goals or in intrinsic um, things. So they will have like a nutritionist, I think she said. They will have a community health worker who meets with us a lot. <laughs> so that also will promote, you know, um, health and, and so forth for, for us all. So, yeah, it's one more thing to keep us going. So. All right, I am about to get into the kitchen because I have to make, I don't have to, but I am going to because I said the next function that I have with my friends is going to, I'm going to bring the broccoli salad that I did the other day. So I'm going to go make that, um, check out the video if you haven't already of the, uh, the broccoli salad, if you're interested in that. Uh, but we are having a gathering tomorrow at my girlfriend's house. We are doing like a part two-ish of the vision seminar that we went to the um, other day um, or the other week and we are extending it to kind of like look uh, deeper into our goals and our visions and uh, my girlfriend she's heading that up so we're going to have this session tomorrow after church and then after and then this time we're bringing our husbands so our husbands are joining us so we're kind of like looking at our goals all together even with our spouses and then we will go um, from there. We will actually make vision boards. So we wanted to kind of have the goals and the, and the vision set. And then we'll make vision boards. I know it'll be well into February by the time we do that. But guess what? It's never late to set your visions and to make it plain and write it down. So I kind of, you know, I already got my visions and my goals written down here. So I'm, you know, I got that. But I'll, I'll take this with me tomorrow. And um, we'll just continue developing. It's never too late to continue developing and, um, and just making sure you have it, your visions and your goals, uh, just you know, concise and clear. So it's never too late. It's never you know too much to continue to dive deeper into that. But let me go make this broccoli salad. Um, and yeah, I'm excited for what's to come. All right, I need to measure my um, waist circumference. I haven't done that in a long time, so let's just look at it. All right. All right, my goal was to, my goal is to be under 33 inches, right? And, all right, so here's 33. And it's right here. So I would say 32 and a half. That's my, you know, two inches above my belly button. Right there. 
my little area right here. Yeah, I don't mind my stomach now. <laughs> now, mind you, this area, this area was like, I think, 38 when I first started um, back at the end of 2022. Look at it now. So that's 35, and look, it is at 34 and 3 fourths. So I'm on track. We're back from the friends goal setting vision diving deeper session that we had today and we had a chance to like talk as couples we broke off and we did some goal setting we did some diving deep but answering some questions that we may not have um, thought of before to kind of get a little deeper into the relationship we talked about our priority list like and then our values and our, our core values all all that helped us to um eventually set goals so we're going to now as homework write out some goals and make some action plans to go with them and then we'll follow up and we'll um meet again and do a uh actually make a vision board and then we're also starting to talk about doing a budget uh, session as well so this is good. This is good. 2024 is looking good. And um, we are just, you know, bettering ourselves and moving forward in life. And I said it before, but like setting little small goals, so that's what I'm concentrating on, setting like little small goals, checking those goals off or tweaking them as I go. And then that will help me to get to the larger visions or the larger goals that I have set out in life. So I'm excited about that. So I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me for the last couple of days. Um, I don't know if I said it in this video or not, but yes, I will be going a little deeper into um, Manjaro. And uh, if you don't know, if I, I don't know if I said it in this video or not, but yes, I did. Yes, I did. I will be going a little bit deeper into Manjaro and um, some insurance things I had going on. And then I'll also um, just dive a little bit deeper into that for, you know, the ones who are um, wanting to hear more about that particular part of my journey. But yes, so excited for what's to come. So as always, I thank you guys for joining me. I thank you guys for being with me and just staying with me. You motivate me to continue on. I really, 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 I, I know I say it all the time, but I do. I really appreciate you guys just hanging with me and being with me and the inspiration I get from you guys, it just continues to push me further. So thank you. 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 Y'all don't know how much y'all are really helping me improve myself overall. But I love you guys and I will see you in the next video and God bless.